Hi pals, I hope you're all well. Today I'm starting a reading vlog. I'm going to be vlogging every week in August. I'm going to do like weekly reading vlogs just for a little change and also because it is both Women in Translation Month and Pixarathon and I kind of want to jump like head first into both readathons and just get really stuck in so I'm really looking forward to that. I have already this today finished two books which is just um, unheard of. Last month I didn't read, like I only read two books for the whole month so um, yeah I've already read two books which is really a lot. Um, so the first one I fin finished was A Dutiful Boy um, and then the second one I finished was A Kind of Spark, both audiobooks um, and really really enjoyed both, like really enjoyed both. I a Dutiful Boy is about like a man who grows up Muslim and gay in the UK and he is kind of feeling like it's not okay to be who he is and kind of follow him through his life and the, tr the struggles he faces at school, university um, and then coming out to his family and we just follow his journey, just really, really beautiful. I love the narration and the author narrates himself and it's just so beautiful and just a really moving story like I found myself welling up at points, it was really lovely and then A Kind of Spark was just totally different but so lovely and wholesome, it's about a little little girl, I don't know actually how old she is, never really clocked that um, but a young girl, um, autistic girl who lives in Edinburgh in Scotland in the Juniper Green area I believe um, and yeah it's about her and like her life, she kind of gets really engrossed in the idea of the witch trials and like wants to erect a memorial statue, um, a memorial place um, for the women who were killed in the witch trials in Scotland and yeah it becomes like a sort of special interest in a sense but one of Addy the main character's other special interest is sharks <clears throat> and it's also about just kind of um, her life as a young autistic person and her sister is also autistic and her sister's at university and they have a very special relationship and follows the family and kind of the experiences they have. Really, really enjoyed it. That was so lovely and beautifully told. I would really recommend that one. Um, and yeah, what else has been on today? I went for a run just back from, so my hair is probably looking a bit wild and I'm probably a bit red faced but um, and I'm just sitting down to drink some juice <laughs> to fill up on fluids and also read my book. So last night I also started an ebook um, which is called The Little Old Lady Who Broke All the Rules and I think it's really funny so far. I'm picking it for the Pixarathon prompt, um, a book that will make you laugh and it's it's just kind of really quite funny so far. It's translated from the Swedish um, so it's a Women in Translation title as well which is great and yeah I think it's really good fun, light hearted. Um, what else has gone on this week? So at some point I'd like to go and visit the Bookmobile which is like a um, a library bus in the UK um, and it's taking part in Pride which is happening in Reykjavik uh, this this weekend I think if it still goes ahead a few bigger events have been cancelled but so far this looks to still be, be going ahead and the library joins Pride March um, and one part that they do in the run up to the Pride March is that um, they have like the bookmobile becomes completely overtaken by LGBT plus books and I'd like to go and visit that um, and loan some books from it. Just I really enjoyed it when I went and did that um, in 2019 and then last year everything was cancelled to do with Pride um, and I think the library might have just been no, I think it was open by now. I think it was open by now, um, this time last year. But yeah, um, so I'm really looking forward to going and supporting that and taking out some books and just having a good wee look around, seeing what they're kind of promoting in the bookmobile um, or the library bus. And um, what else is happening? This is also my final week in my current job, my final full week. And then next week I have a half week and then I start my job the week after. So it'd be kind of strange to kind of vlog that experience of leaving one job and starting the next. And I'm really looking forward to starting my new job and um, just kind of meeting all new people and stuff like that. Everyone seems lovely and I'm really, really looking forward to working with them all. And yeah, just 
kind of going through a bit of a transition though I guess. But that's probably all to kind of update you on to start with. Um, I'm going to go back to reading my little book, um, it's on my Kindle and yeah, just we'll vlog the week as it goes and update you on my reading as I go. Um, I kind of spark counted for one of the um, pixar -thon prompts so I'm following the monster route. I'll, I'll share my TBR down below but I've kind of already gone off piece um, because for the prompt something like set at school or university I was going to read Concrete Rose and then just on a whim picked up a kind of spark from um, basically Audible is doing this thing if you have a membership that you can access like a whole library catalogue of other books without paying for them and a kind of spark was on there and I've wanted to read that for a really long time so I picked up almost immediately on seeing that. So that really threw my TBR, but I um, I really enjoyed it. So I'm, I'm glad to read that and I'll probably read Concrete Rose at another point. Um, and so yeah, just kind of reading and relaxing this evening. Happy days. Okay, so I'm just getting myself all ready to go and visit this library bus. I'm really looking forward to it actually. Um, I don't have like an idea about what exactly I'm gonna pick up. I'm just gonna see what the display is like and what they have and you pick up like three or four books maybe um just kind of want to show support for it i know i won't be going to pride this weekend because um i just don't think it's really safe to be having such a big event if i'm honest i'm kind of surprised it's going ahead and so this is like my way of kind of showing support um without kind of putting myself and my health in risk so i am going to do that and i'm also i've got a big bag of books to drop off at the main library so i'll do that first and then head to the library bus and probably fill the bag back up again, let's be honest. Um, and that's my plan. Hopefully you'll have to come with me. And yeah, let's go and have a look. enjoyed myself actually going to see the bookmobile and like seeing all the different books and choosing some books to take home crucially and I thought I'd show you what I picked up so um, the first book that I picked up was XOXY a memoir and this is by Kimberly um, Zieselman um, an American intersex person and I thought that sounded really interesting I got quite interested in this topic after reading Heath Fogg Davis's Beyond Beyond, oh goodness, what was it called? Beyond Trans, I want to say, but it's totally going out of my head at the moment, but I put a picture on the screen. Um, but it was very, very interesting. He kind of touched on intersex people and kind of some of their experiences and it's never something I've read about. So I wanted to read something from the perspective of an intersex person and um, spot this and thought I'll give that a go. Um, I also picked up the Magic Fish, um, which I've seen quite a lot of people talk about. It's like a graphic um, novel. I don't think it's a memoir. I think it's a novel. And um, it looked quite like nice, um, colourful, nice colour scheme. Let me hold that up to you. So I thought it was quite bright and colourful and yeah, I thought it seemed really nice inside. I also picked up The End of Eddie by Edouard Louis um, and translated by... 
Michel Lucet, um, and this one is really good. I think this is the last of Edouard Louis' writing that I have left to read, and so when I saw it, I thought, I'll pick this one up and give this one a go. I think it's um, like a fictionalised account of his own life, I think, um, which of what I've heard of him speak about and like read about Edouard Louis. He had quite a difficult life. I think there's like domestic violence in his past and stuff, so. Um, and maybe one that I need to maybe save for a time when I feel up to reading that kind of stuff um, but really want to read it at some point so I thought I'll take it out just now and while I was in the main library so not the bookmobile I also picked up a poetry collection by an Icelandic poet Kjartjan Ragnarsson it's called Here We Are and um, it sounded really interesting it's like about um, kind of like life in general I think um, on the back it says welcome aboard the train of life we hope you have a pleasant ride reminding you that your personal baggage in life will follow you to your final destination we recommend that you pack light and um, the poet looks really quite young from the um, picture in the back um, and I think this is um, maybe his first poetry collection it says he studies political science and English at the University of Iceland and there's no translator listed so I think this is written in English but I read the first poem and thought that sounds really like it seemed really nice and I wanted to read the full thing so that's my little library haul I guess <laughs> um, and yeah quite a few wee books that I'm looking forward to reading there um, I've kind of come in that way that you come in when you're I don't know if everyone's like this, but when kind of the COVID cases are high, um, we have had periods of time where they've not been high, but they are again high in um, mostly in the city in Reykjavik. Um, but when they're high like that, you come in and you feel really like dirty. So I'm going to get totally showered and cleaned and everything like that, and um, and these will sit in quarantine. So you won't probably see them me read these in this vlog, but maybe in one of the future vlogs that are coming up. And I'm hoping I can fit them into Pixarathon maybe. Um, I've totally gone off piece with this TBR of mine. I'm not very good at sticking to TBRs, but um, I'm going to get cleaned just now and um, I will check in with you soon with a reading update. I have some updates to give you. So I'll check in with you soon on that. And yeah successful trip to the bookmobile I think. Okay so a little bit of an update on my end so actually although at the start of this vlog I said that this would be my second to last week this is now actually my last week I have some holidays to take and so I've decided to take them and have next week off which is going to be really nice I'm looking forward to having a little relax and chill out and um, it's kind of strange when something ends sooner than you think it's going to end though and um, so I'm feeling like it's a bit of a strange kind of adjustment there but I'm looking forward to my new job and starting. I feel kind of ready to start something new now. So I'm just kind of polishing off the last few bits at work today. Um, and I'll be listening to my audiobook as I finish those bits off. I'm currently listening to In Black and White by Alexandra Wilson and really enjoying it. It's very interesting. It's about like legal systems in the UK and um, being a barrister and um, Alexandra White talks, Alexandra Wilson, sorry, talks about coming from a working class background and kind of um, her experiences of the criminal justice system before um, becoming a barrister and then her experiences as a barrister and um, yeah really really interesting stuff I'll talk about it probably more in depth for my next kind of reading update but I just kind of want to check in and sort of say that it's my final day in this job it feels so surreal and strange I started this job remotely um, like start of the year so I've been working there for over six months now and it's kind of strange to be leaving. I joined it as if you join the circle, just join online and join the team and haven't ever met anyone in real life. So it feels strange to be saying goodbye um, online and again, not have met anyone in real life. <laughs> very strange situation, definitely very, um, probably quite a familiar situation to quite a few people who have started new jobs um, through the pandemic. But yeah, it's been interesting and um, just kind of looking forward now to getting into my new job and getting started. But that's everything for me. Thought I'd update you and um, I'll catch up with you later about this book. I've got only an hour and a half left in it so I should finish that off today and I'll give you a little reading update just to close off the vlog. Okay pal, so it's time for a final reading update. Um, I have read a fair bit this week actually so um, 
since I last checked in on what I was reading, I finished up reading In Black and White by Alexandra Wilson, which I was listening to on audiobook and I really liked it. It was really interesting, um, educational in a way. It's quite, it's about the UK criminal justice system and we're, um, it's like a sort of memoir from um, Alexandra Wilson, who is a barrister in England and um, it's basically about her experiences in the criminal justice system as a barrister, but in particular as a black working class barrister and the kind of hurdles that she had to overcome to become a barrister and um, the, the way that she's um, treated and the way that she experiences um, her work and stuff like that is really, really interesting and I really liked it. I'm really interested in criminal justice stuff. So it was definitely a win for me. <clears throat> I'm definitely in the mood for more of like non-fiction at the moment. That's me listening to two non-fiction memoirs this week alone and I feel like a real craving for it, which is kind of unfortunate because it is Women Translation Month and a lot of the women translation titles I have access to are fiction and I don't know of many non-fiction women translation titles so if you have any recommendations of non-fiction by women in translation I would love to hear about them and maybe I can pick them up later in the month um, but then after listening to that it was very very thought-provoking interesting and um, I then picked up I've been reading on and off the book that I started at the start of the week, um, The Little Old Lady Who Broke All the Rules. And it's silly and it's it's okay, I think. It's very heavily plot driven and it's very fast paced, but I think that it is plot driven at the expense of the characters and the character development. So for me personally, there's not enough character. Like I kind of thought, given that the title is about a little old lady, that we would just be kind of following this one character, but actually it's following um, what's called like the League of Pensioners. And it's a group of characters who all kind of commit crimes together. And we follow them, um, sorry if you can hear the plane going overhead, um, it's kind of constant at the moment, but um, yeah, so you kind of follow this group of them and then you get all these different perspectives, like the person who works in the care home and, um, you also have like different members of staff that they come across at different parts in their journey and it's just a bit too much going on, it's a bit too fast paced, a bit too many characters and I'm like wanting to really connect with one character or at least kind of have a few maybe that you connect with but it's just too much going on, too busy and the pace of the book is really fast so I'm enjoying it like at night before I fall asleep, something light hearted that's just kind of like washes over you yeah, a little bit. Um, I'm kind of feeling that way about it, but it's not one that I'm like wanting to pick up if I have a bit of time here or there. So yeah, a bit disappointed in it, but um, yeah, it is what it is. But I did then read and finish really quite short period of time just this morning um, a book called The Baby Is Mine by Oyinkin Braithwaite, um, is the author of My Sister the Serial Killer and a short story which I have enjoyed the most out of all of her works called Treasure. I really, really like Treasure, would recommend it, it's just a short story, um, but The Baby's Mine is like kind of a novella, it's written for that short read scheme, I think that's just a UK thing, um, but certainly I like read it on Kindle, so um, it was really quite interesting, dark, twisty, um, kind of thrillery um, about a man who goes to live in this house um, with two women and a baby and both women claim that the baby is theirs. You know, that's where the title comes from, the baby's mine. Um, it felt like a really bad dream that you like want to wake up from. So if you like that kind of thing and the kind of, it was set in the pandemic. So um, he moves into the house to be with them during the pandemic, everyone's in lockdown, which kind of gave a bit of an eerier feel to it. But yeah, overall just felt like a really, like a nightmare that you want to wake up from. Um, I did, I did like it, but I felt again like the character development wasn't very strong in it and uh, the, the ending kind of let it down but I don't want to say too much about it if you've read it maybe we can chat in the comments below um, but yeah that's my kind of week of reading I'm also still reading Vagabonds which is another woman in translation title about 50% of the way through that but similarly to um, the little old lady who broke all the rules it's not gripping me and I just feel like am I pushing myself through it or am I just 
I might just need to spend some time dedicated to it, I'm not sure. But they're both quite chunky books, like The Little Old Deal bro Broke All the Rules, it's apparently 400 pages according to Storygraph, um, I'm, I'm reading on my Kindle, and Vagabonds is 600 pages, so it's quite chunky books. And I feel like that might be part of my kind of feeling like they're quite long, like they're kind of going on and on. Like the little they do broke other roads I kind of feel like should be wrapping up about now or like coming to an end, but it's still only halfway through. So obviously there's some other stuff to come and lots of plot probably because it is very fast paced, but yeah, I'm just not really gripped by it. And Vagabonds is really interesting sci-fi. It's about a group of teenagers on Mars and a group of teenagers on Earth and the Mars and Earth have been in a kind of a war situation and it's now like a kind of stalemate in the war and um, um, Mars is more kind of communist and Earth is more like capitalist kind of um, in the kind of leadership and the way the society functions and um, really interesting from that kind of political world building side of things but so slow and I'm only just now feeling like some kind of connection to the characters and I've been reading for 600 pages so it's a I've been reading for 300 pages it's a 600 page book so I feel like between the two of those titles I've still got another 500 pages in total to read which is a lot so I'm really on the cusp of thinking should I DNF I don't know what to do. So if you've read, it, read either and you have any thoughts or input, I would be very welcome if you think I should pursue them. I don't have many, well I do have a few women translation titles, um, mostly Icelandic authors that I got at the library quite recently and I have a few on my Kindle so maybe I should just check those out and see if there's any other titles that I want to pick up this um, month. Obviously in my TBR I mentioned Trap and um, Miss Iceland, two books I would like to read at some point. Um, I started Trap yesterday but then I was kind of feeling guilty because I do have quite a lot of books on the go. So I've got this kind of urge to finish all the books that I am reading at the moment um, and like kind of start fresh, which I think is because I am transitioning in my job and like the idea of a fresh start kind of appeals to me in a way and so maybe I'm feeling like if I have a fresh start in my reading around the same time the whole thing kind of restarts, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, I felt guilty starting it so I, I thought oh, I should put it down and continue with the books that I have on the go which might also be making me feel kind of um, slumpy with the two that I'm not really connecting with. So. Yeah, I don't know what the solution is, but what I'm doing just now obviously isn't fully working for me. So I'd like to do some kind of maybe creative vlogs next week or like some kind of project vlog maybe. Um, yeah, and I have a bit of time off next week obviously if my job finished up early. So if you have any video requests for me, do feel free to leave a comment below. Um, and yeah, I hope you have a lovely week and I will see you again in my next video. My next video should come up on Friday, it should be my um, June and July wrap up so you can keep an eye out for that and I hope you enjoy it when it comes and yeah, thank you so much for watching this vlog, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again in my next video.